Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to cover true position characteristic. All types are going to be explained and we will have even examples made with the help of Calypso. So open Calypso and follow along with me. According to ISO 1101 and ASME 14.5, we have four types of true position. No datum reference position, this is also known as bore pattern or best fit position. Parallel true position, where the direction is given by the arrows that indicate the position tolerance. Diametric position, where the position has to be evaluated in two directions. And the last one is the spherical true position with the S letter showing near to the diametric symbol from the true position, implying that the position is a spherical position and has to be evaluated in three axes. Now that we know how many types we have to deal with, let's have a look at a practical example using a technical drawing for a plate that I have created and Calypso to exemplify how to measure the characteristics represented on the drawing. On our drawing, we can find a parallel true position from here, a diametric true position for these two holes from here and here, and one spherical true position for the pin that is here. Notice that the evaluated feature is not a sphere itself because a spherical true position is named that way due to its spherical shape tolerance zone and not the element sphere. Moving to Calypso, we will take first the elements required to construct the base alignment. So, go right here, extract features, So the first two planes from here and here, this is actually the planes required to create datum A. So I will rename them this one A1 and this one A2. And the symmetry A from datum A. This one is B1. B2, datum B, and the last one is datum C. Since this example is only to show how to make and evaluate types of true position, I will not create help alignments to find the holes or other help elements to find the hole. But if you are working on a real part, you should create the help elements. Good. Now let's actually make a strategy for the planes from here. So go to strategy. Let's not complicate things uh, very much. Let's just select a polyline just like that. I will do this for all the planes. Now let's select the planes that construct date may. Then select the planes that construct date B. And let's create the base alignment. Okay. Datum A, Datum B, X origin in Datum B, Y in Datum A, and Z origin in Datum C. Good. So, a pretty basic alignment, not something too complicated. 
let's create the clearance plane and everything is fully defined now as the alignment now let's uh, make this a group and rename it as a base alignment okay you can open it from here and we have the elements good now let's create the cylinders let's select everything the cylinder for the first true position the parallel true position then the other two for di the diametric true position let's say that uh, this cylinder is for uh, position number one from the drawing we don't have the position uh, noted on the drawing but I'm sure that you are working with position noted on the drawing so make sure that you rename all your elements according to the position from the drawing because if you have order in your work you will find elements faster and anyone that will work on your program will find things faster if you work by the book you can be transparent it's no problem okay so let's set it like this two sections will be enough we will use a point we will not scan there is no form deviation to evaluate and the calculation will go much faster okay so seven points single point okay okay to circle paths i forgot to rename the cylinder so this is the cylinder for for position one okay the same um, strategy we will use for the two cylinders for the diametric true position from here so measurement strategy this one and this one and okay and we have the points and we have to make the intersection for this one so extract the cylinder from here again copy the measurement strategy okay extract the plane select the circle path now if i would be working on a real part in order to make sure that i find the center each time for the plane i will set for example the x and the y axis from the center of the cylinder from here and the diameter of course uh, also from the cylinder from here make it bigger for like two millimeters and then it's fine with a formula uh, i think i have a lot of videos where i do this so you can go and watch them and i'm, I'm sure that you will find on my channel uh, these types of explanations on other videos but for this explanation i would i will leave it like this okay okay so this is plane for position three and also this one is cylinder for position three now we have to make an intersection between the last cylinder and the plane and call it point position tree you can also shell it if you want and it will make a diameter but we need only the point for the true position because this is the only thing that we are going to evaluate for from here okay the positions not the diameters not anything else good now let's see 
go to form a location go to position select the first cylinder for position one and set here only datum b and of course if only datum b is uh, going to be evaluated then we have to select here only on the x-axis to be evaluated and we have the nominal position from the drawing like we can see now on the screen and things are clear okay but what do we want to evaluate do we want to evaluate the tolerance as a projection so it projects the the cylinder from from here to to the plane or do we want to evaluate the axis so for this one we want to evaluate the center axis okay and click ok and rename it as position one because it's actually position one <laughs> okay then it's fine then it's position two and we want to select the cylinder for position number two this time we are going to have it on, on a diametral x y axis okay and we want to select here datum a b and c or if you have the base alignment done correctly you can just let this base alignment as the datum reference frame okay so let's leave it as a base alignment this is position 2.1 and we have to create position 2.2 so now again a uh, true position position number three okay and we will select the point and now we have to select here the sphere notice that all three axes are now available to write the correct values for the nominal position but we don't have to do anything because calypso sets automatically the nominal values for the axis we will select the tolerance i think i forgot to select the tolerance for all the rest of the positions now let's see how to have the graphical representation for this one but let's first run the program okay so we have here the results simulated everything looks good but as i told you if you want to have a multiple report on the multiple report you will see the positions like this so if you give this report to somebody else uh, they will say okay i understand these are the divisions for the position but i have no idea how to correct the part or how to see where the points are deviated or not in which axis because as we know for this one this is pretty simple to understand this if we divide this uh, deviation by two then we get the deviation on the axis but we don't know if it's on the plus uh, direction or on the minus direction so even for this one is important for this one for the uh, this diametric two positions again we have two directions we don't know on which direction is the deviation and uh, we don't know if it's on the plus on the minus and so on and for this one is even bad to show it like this because you have three directions and nobody knows on which direction it's clearly the deviation so go to resources go to uh, characteristic settings editor and right here we have additional report selected features has to be checked from here and you have to choose what features you want to represent the additional information on the report since we have only position we will select them to on now be careful 
for this one for the profile of line if you set it to on then it will give you information there that will clearly make the report more complicated to understand because it will give you the information from the center of gravity from the profile of line for xyz this is just a recommendation from my side okay but for this example we will set them to on and let's run the program again let's clear the results maybe we'll have something with deviations also and now notice that we have also the deviation on the axis so now it's more clear right because for position number one it's clear that we have on the x-axis and it's deviated on the minus so it's closer right to uh, datum b okay uh, then we have the diametric to position and we can see that the deviation on the x-axis is higher than the deviation on the y-axis all the positions are okay and i think you understand the information clearly now from this type of report okay but we said that we want to see them also in a graphical representation right so notice that now we have a button right here for the plot okay so we can plot the position uh, doesn't want to work right now but if you go to uh, run then run again the measurement program we have the results and if we go right here to replace protocol row templates and show detailed you can notice the graphical representations for the true position only for the diametric ones unfortunately for the position and for the spherical true position it will not show anything it's pretty nasty that it doesn't want to show in a plot protocol i don't know why but i'm sure that yours will, will work so you can make also a plot protocol and uh, show the graphical representations now if you want to have these results represented professionally like you can see now on the screen you can become a vip member on my patreon channel and you can watch the video where i create a dedicated report for this part especially to have the report like this so i will explain there step by step how to create a dedicated report for the true position evaluation if not and you think this information is enough for you then please leave a like and share this video or say thanks wherever you think is the proper sign of appreciation suited for you now don't forget until next time learn as much as you can